One of the most challenging things when looking into the reality that you may have been lied to about what you live on is understanding why it's a big deal to perpetuate this lie, where it originates, and why would world leaders be interested in keeping us in this lie. And it goes very deep. In our last video, which seemed random and kind of was in certain ways, has led in a direction to help answer that question. And it's thanks to you guys for sharing your wisdom with us. The first comment that got me looking into something that I had forgotten about was this one here. And it said, the biggest giveaway is the inscription at the bottom of the Statue of Liberty. Hidden in plain sight, it reads, the new Colossus. And I had even remembered there's parts of that quote that are very famous. And um, I'm not going to go into that. But the Colossus of Rhodes is a statue that is of the Greek sun god Helios. And the interesting thing about that is some of the drawings you come across when looking into this. It is almost a replica of the Statue of Liberty. And I had said that the crown on top of the Statue of Liberty kind of reminded me of sun rays and had something to do with sun god worshiping and had yet to even remember that quote and that poem until you guys brought that to my attention. But this origin is very important in terms of the new sun god Helios statue that we have in our own backyard that is sitting there as this beacon of hope and symbol of what I thought freedom back in the day. But it goes deeper than that. It's always the truth in plain sight that we see, kind of like this uh, statue on top of the Capitol building that someone pointed out in the same video they commented and said, the statue on the tip of the dome of the Capitol has a helmet exactly like the painting. And sure enough, the little phoenix with the feathers, it's there for everyone to see right there on the Capitol. So not going to get into that. I'm sure that goes even deeper. All this stuff does, and it's easy to get caught up in further away from the gospel and what's out there for us and all the joy we should have. I don't want to take away from that. There is so much we need to be focused on. It's becoming harder to actually make videos like I want to make because I feel we need to prepare for what is to come and it's right around the corner and that's what I think a lot of you are feeling and sensing similar to what we are feeling and you're not alone but um, this new colossus and sun god worshiping and why we see people paying tribute to Helios all around the world and statues resurrecting from the old days like this one here this is Moloch the statue that is appearing now at the Colosseum in Rome, given approval by the Vatican, and it is a child sacrifice statue, and you could even see the sun god symbology right here on it, the all-seeing eye, little suns, all of, you know, kind of pasted around it. This stuff hasn't gone away. They act like they're paying tribute to these ancient practices. I don't know why they would want anything as a reminder of children being burnt alive but that is what they have right here in Rome, and it's still going on today. This stuff has not stopped like we thought it did. I used to read the books in history class and think, man, I'm glad we don't do that anymore, and had no clue that this stuff is still going on by those who rule over us. They do it in secret now. They're not as open as they once were, but you can find this stuff out. I don't recommend looking into it as much because it does happen, and you will find some sad, sad situations. Now, to uh, look at why they would lie. It's going to take us back to the Word. There is Ezekiel chapter 8. I talked about this before. I'm not going to read the entire chapter and just highlight some points. The Father's talking to Ezekiel and showing him some things that upset him, things that make him jealous, angry, and sad. And the first thing he does, it says here, The Spirit lifted me up between the earth and the heaven. And I thought this was interesting, the heaven because it talks about, in Genesis, he called the firmament heaven. And so him being lifted up between that, that just really cool to me. It kind of, I have a different picture than I used to reading this. But it says, and he brought me in the visions of God to Jerusalem. So it's like a vision. So what God's seeing, God's showing him, to the door of the inner gate that looketh toward the north, where was the seat of the image of jealousy, which provoketh to jealousy. And behold, the glory of the God of Israel was there, according to the vision that I saw in the plain. And then said he unto me, Son of man, lift up thine eyes, now the way toward the north. So I lifted up mine eyes, 
the way toward the north, and behold, northward at the gate of the altar, this image of jealousy in the entry. He said, Furthermore unto me, Son of man, seest thou what they do, even the great abominations that the house of Israel committeth here, that I should go far off from my sanctuary, but turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations. So he's telling him, you're going to see things that are greater abominations than these. And that brings us on down here, further in the uh, chapter, chapter 8 here. And it says, And he brought me into the inner courts of the Lord's house, and behold, at the door of the temple of the Lord between the porch and the altar were about five and twenty men, with their backs toward the temple of the Lord, and their faces towards the east, and they worshipped the sun toward the east. Then said he unto me, Hast thou seen this, O son of man? Is it a light thing to the house of Judah that they commit the abominations which they commit here? For they have filled the land with violence. Stuff that's going on today. And have returned to provoke me to anger. These evil Luciferian turds do the stuff they do today to provoke our father to anger. That's what it's about. The stuff that you see, the models they create, the lies they feed us, the misconceptions that they have generated in our minds with their animations and putting us under a spell of fascination with all of these false sciences. It's stuff that's been going on forever. And I was years ago listening to a song and my dad was with me and he, he brought up a good point. When this old famous song, The Devil Went Down to Georgia, you've probably heard it. It was quite popular from the 70s up until now. People still can sing along to it. They know the words. But the, it says, Fire on the mountain, run boys run, devil's in the house of the rising sun. And my dad said, Have you ever thought that maybe there's a connection between this song and the other song called The House of the Rising Sun? And it's a, a song by the group called The Animals. This was about a decade earlier. It says there is a house in New Orleans they call the Rising Sun. And it's been the ruin of many a poor boy, and God I know I'm one. Oh mother, tell your children not to do what I have done. Spend your lives in sin and misery in the house of the Rising Sun. S-U-N. Well, I got one foot on the platform, the other foot on the train. I'm going back to New Orleans to wear that ball and chain. Well, there is a house in New Orleans they call the Rising Sun. So interesting that there really is actually a house called the Rising Sun. And of course, that song that we saw first says, The Devil's in the House of the Rising Sun. So I'm pretty sure the truth in plain sight, like it always is right there in lyrics, you have them giving us a clue to what's going on, possibly a place where these people make deals to get the fame that they have. They have to partake in ceremonies, usually involving sacrifice, before they leap into stardom. And it's interesting that they call them stars. That's another deep subject. It always goes way deeper when you start looking into this stuff. But uh, the house of the rising sun. Okay, this has to do with sun god worshiping, with the evil one being bright, a light bearer. They know that all of these false gods that they have created that provoke our father to jealousy will lead us to follow a system that makes him angry one that is not in alignment with the true creation story that puts us further and further away from him you have this never-ending space caused by an explosion surrounded by objects that are expanding outwards even though we see the same ones for generations and generations and we see the same stars year round they say we are flying around this giant sun living on a model that bears the mark that's another clue when you can look at it and see the mark of the beast it's there it's not something we're making up his logos his images, his sigil, all of this stuff in plain sight on mainstream stuff. And people always go, why would they lie? There's good reason. It's to take credit, to pervert creation. It's to hide the truth, the firmament. 
things that we could easily go see if it wasn't being guarded by all the countries that are peacefully guarding it and also peacefully working together in the only avenue that the world works together peacefully in, space travel. These guys, not all of them are in on it. 98% of the employees at these agencies are genuine, honest people. I don't wish harm on them. I pray that their eyes be opened so that they can see what's going on. Wake them up as fast as you can because there is a lot they need to see. But the truth about who our Father is is really what's going to wake people up. Whether or not you believe the earth is moving is not going to stop you from receiving eternal life in most cases. Now it could. I know people that mass confusion and the Big Bang model has let them never open their eyes to the grace they have available. But there's a lot more lies that are even bigger than this. But it all dates back to sun god worshipping and things that they know makes our Father angry. Torturing his beloved creations, little children, innocent ones, the most pure, they go after those. I know I'm repeating myself a little bit, but these things are important to understanding why they would lie. It's a long series of events that would take a documentary. I've wanted to do such one. I don't know if we'll have time with the way things are wrapping up in the world of deceptions that we see now. Interestingly enough, though, your average person is starting to wake up to these lies and that's why they are having extreme measures. You're seeing them talk about censorship on the news. Even Fox News is complaining about this stuff. You know, they all have the same owners when you go up top, the same people, even though they seem like they oppose each other. But it's, it's interesting to see that they're even talking about censorship and it's something we've all been experiencing for the last few years and hopefully we can get some laws to change the way this stuff works, but you know what we're up against, especially with the owners of this platform since they've merged. And it's definitely going to be one of those things that we just have to try and work around and be sneaky and stay united as much as we can, find each other if a channel goes down like we're seeing. Share that so we can find where they go again and they can continue to spread this, the truth that they want to spread. So um, there, were, uh, there were definitely more things I want to talk about in this video but I have uh, but I got to get back to work and get ready for tomorrow and get my lessons prepared for school now that we're doing online teaching it's kind of weird working from home but I'll be back soon with some other interesting things that we've been working on and I hope to uh, but before I go I want to thank you guys once again for all that you've done with sharing your wisdom our patreons I have not been lying to you when I said I would plant some trees and honor of your contribution. This is something that I think is important because your contributions do live on. They keep going. They help this ministry share things that will stay out there for as long as it's allowed. And all of those, and those of you who have made donations along the way, I really thank you for that. My wife thanks you. It's helped me go out and buy things like new headphones and get our computers repaired when they get dropped or whatever. It's, it's been a major blessing. And I thank you guys for that. It's also helped us when we travel. But thank you guys for your support. And we will be back very soon. Take care of yourselves and survive this apocalypse with the tools that work and have been known to work and help you survive. See you guys soon. Take care and God bless.